Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Tim has tried this new Lean Cuisine meal. This was sent to us by the company. They reached out to me and asked if I'd like to try them. I said, sure. So um, this one is a free one from them. This is the Cauli Bowls uh, pasta made with cauliflower, fettuccine with meat sauce, freshly made fettuccine pasta with a seasoned meat sauce. It is um, nine ounces or 255 grams. And like I said, I don't know how much this is gonna cost because um, I got it for free. Same great pasta taste made carb conscious. Well, let's see, it is 260 calories for the entire meal. That's pretty decent. There's your other info. So, pasta is made with cauliflower. Okay, here's the directions. I had found them somewhere. Um, I don't see oven directions. Um, so it's just microwave. So cut film to vent, um, cook for two, three minutes and 30 seconds, stir and recover and then cook again for one minute on high and then let it stand for one minute to kind of finish the process. So 3.30, stir, recover and then one. No pull tabs on this one, but that's okay. Lots of sauce in there. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut a slit in this and get it in the microwave and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. And they're mowing next door, so hopefully you don't hear that. But um, I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute and um, I'll be back. It's pretty thick. It doesn't smell like cauliflower. I mean, you can make a little a hint of a cauliflower smell, but um, it doesn't really smell strongly like cauliflower. So I'm gonna let this cool off and I'll be back. All right, so I had a little time to cool off. Um, here we go. The smell, the reason I pause there for a second, the smell is a little different than your traditional pasta. Um, that pasta texture is way, way different. The pasta is very mushy almost like um it's almost like bread instead of pasta or really like way overcooked pastas where it's really smushy and mushy um the texture i don't care for the flavor is okay you would do it necessarily know it was cauliflower The meat sauce is like a sausage-based sauce. Um, yeah, it has like a sausage-type flavor, the meat does. Um, just looking real quick at the ingredients. Puree, cooked beef and pork, uh, Parmesan cheese. Um, there's a soy sauce in there. Flavoring and the the meat actually takes like sausage. I actually like the taste of the meat itself. The sauce itself is not um, a super. It's kind of a sweeter sauce, but it's not sweet like in a Chef RD sweet. But it is um, a little sweeter than like a savory sauce. But then you get those little bites of like sausage flavored meat almost, and, and so those balance out. I think my biggest concern with this one, my biggest problem with it is necessarily, not necessarily flavor. The flavors are fine. It's the texture of the pot, the cauliflower pasta. It's very, very soft. I've never liked a really mushy pasta. I like mine a little firmer. Um, al dente, literally al dente is the perfect pasta. Uh, just, just a little bit before it's fully cooked. Um, so the texture for this one is a little off-putting for me. Now, if you are, um, if you're on keto or want lower carb and you don't mind a little softer pasta, then you're not gonna have a problem with this. The flavors actually, like I said, are actually pretty decent. Yeah, it's just the, it's just the texture. So I think this is an okay meal. It's not gonna be a five by any means. Um, me personally, it's a three. If you don't mind the squishy, the squishier kind of pasta, you may actually give it more of a three and a half, four, because the flavors, like I said, are very decent. I really, really, really like the flavor of the meat itself, because I do like that sausage kind of flavor. Um, so I like the spices, I like the seasonings. It's just the texture of the pasta, really, for me. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.